Hey guys, this is Andrew with MyWatchAddiction.com. Hoping everybody had an amazing Thanksgiving. Uh, as I promised in my previous videos, I'd come back over this weekend and take a deeper dive into some of the watches that I got for my Watch Game Black and my two Watch Game Platinum subscriptions for November 2017. So before we get started though, can you do me a favor down there in the right hand corner of your screen is that subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can follow me on into the future. As it stands right now, I have about 15 watches waiting to be reviewed and I have another seven or eight coming in this week. Uh, pretty excited about those. Uh, so we'll take a look at those. Um, today, right now, we're gonna take a look at this purple and stainless steel time force that I received as a part of my watch game black subscription from November 2017. So here is the open heart time force that I received with purple dial stainless steel case. At face value this looks like a a real sharp watch. Um, I would call this guy a 50 footer. It looks good from about 50 feet away but the closer you get to it the more issues you find and the more you don't want to wear it. Um, so it does have silicone strap. Um, as I mentioned, the, the open heart, you can see the movement in the dial, so it's not a full skeleton, just an open heart display back. Uh, second hand has a pretty good sweep. This has a Seiko NH38AL, I believe, is the movement in this guy. Of course, you're not gonna find that anywhere online. Um, that, well, I haven't found it anywhere online, let me put it that way. There is next to no information online about this watch. Um, so it, it makes it extremely difficult trying to, trying to dive into this and, and look a little bit deeper. Even right down to the Time Force website, if you take a look at the Time Force website, there's not a whole lot to it. Um, there's a lot of incorrect grammar on the website. And from what I can tell, looking at it, Time Force is a company out of either Panama or Colombia. I've seen two different notations, um, which is which is kind of interesting. I don't have an issue with it being a watch from somewhere else, um, but I just wish we could find out more information about this watch, about this brand. Looking at their catalog, I went through both their 2000. 15 and 2016 catalogs that are available on their website. There's no 2017 catalogs available on their website and I could not find this watch listed anywhere in their catalog on their website, anywhere for things to sell. Um, if you look at available distributors, they have six distributors in Latin America, Ecuador, Honduras, Venezuela, Colombia, Costa Rica, and Panama, and then they have a distributor in Spain um, but that's pretty much it. How we ended up with these watches, I'm not sure, um, but nevertheless, it's what we did. Now, like I mentioned, at face value, I think this is a decent looking watch. Matter of fact, I think all the Time Force watches that I've seen at face value are a decent looking watch. I really like the designs of some of the Time Forces that I've seen, but from what I can tell, their attention to detail is horrible with this watch company. Absolutely horrible. So one of the things that I'm gonna point out on this dial, if we can get a little closer for you to see here, and I'll try not to get too much of a reflection. So the dial looks great, purple dial, at face value, everything looks good, until you start looking at the detail and actually look at that sub dial that is at the 10, 11 o'clock position. Um, that sub dial is labeled zero to 60. Now. Initially, you would think maybe that is a second hand or something to that effect labeled zero to 60, but guess what? It's not. It is a 24 hour clock. So that dial represents 24 hours in a day, um, but it's labeled zero to 60. Now, whether or not this was a misprint, I have no clue. Um, if not, possibly they just have some um, designers that uh, checked out for the day but zero to 60 on this dial makes no sense to me whatsoever. Now, I'm gonna see if I can find it, but at one point I had seen an excerpt from one of their manuals that explained how to read this subdial and basically split the dial up into quarters and explained morning, afternoon, night, you know, that type of thing. 
if you have to put in your manual how to read a subdial on a watch of this price point and a 24 hour dial that's as easy to understand as that, you have an issue right off the bat. Um, so again, don't know if it's a misprint, don't know if that's why we can't find anything out about this watch online, but overall this is one of the black subscription watches that I'm not a fan of, not happy with. Um, if you guys want this watch, like I said, this watch is a sharp looking watch from 50 feet away. Um, and it's definitely a style that I would find myself wearing. Um, maybe not with the purple dial, but diving into it a little bit, um, you know, I, not, not real big fan of this watch in general. So this one is probably absolutely going to go in the two trade pile. I'm probably going to end up having to take sub price trade value for this watch just to get rid of it. But nevertheless, this is the time force open heart. I can't even find a model number. I'm sorry, model name. There is a model number on the back of this watch, um, but it's extremely hard to read. And when I ran a search for that online, nothing even came up with the model number. So I'm really at a loss. Um, jumping over to eBay, because we don't really have much to go on, we just type in Time Force. Right now there is a black version of this instead of the chrome case it's the black case with the same dial open hard design right now it's got three days left on the auction and it's going for thirty dollars and 99 cents um there is the time force traveler gmt which has issues in and of itself with this misprinted dial that's uh at 150 or best offer i doubt that person's going to get 150 right down below that we have one going for 215 um, and then a couple others I don't know not real happy with this um, it is what it is again it's a it's a it's a blind watch subscription service so it's one of the risks you take um, I think that the makers of this watch were on the right path I think they're like I mentioned I think their designs are really really sharp I think their attention to detail um, however, fell extremely short on the watches that were left out. And I don't know, you know, quite honestly, I don't know if they had just a bad run of these watches and that's why they're not posted anywhere. That's why they're not for sale anywhere. And maybe that's why Watch Gang was able to pick them up at a decent price. I'm not sure. Um, but nevertheless, it is what it is. So that is the Time Force Automatic Open Heart. So that is the stainless steel with purple dial Time Force watch that I received as a part of the Watch Gang Black subscription for November 2017. Uh, as you can tell from my lack of excitement, not one of the better watches that I've gotten from Watch Gang. Uh, kind of really disappointed in this one. Um, but I can't hate too much because that's what you sign up for when you sign up for a watch subscription service. Uh, it's a risk that you take. Um, nevertheless, stick around. We have the Deep Blue Diver that I received as well as the Alpina Field Wash that I received that we're going to take a look at next. Um, thank you guys for checking us out. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down in the right hand corner of the screen. Definitely check us out on Facebook at Facebook slash My Watch Addiction. On Instagram at watchaddiction.us and always right here on the channel at My Watch Addictions. Thank you guys and have a great week.